the third generation of the crossover debuted in March 2015. European sales began in the summer, and in November he came to Russia, and at first from the Czech Republic. It was equipped with petrol engines of 1.6 liters, 132 and 177 horsepower, and 2 liters, 150 horsepower, as well as a 2 liter turbo diesel with 185 horsepower. In September 2016, assembly began at Aptoder in Kaliningrad. True, we did not sell a modification with the base 132 horsepower engine, but all versions, except for the 2 liter gasoline, were equipped with all wheel drive. Regardless of the transmission, a used Tucson is sure to show up in front of a potential buyer in the best possible way. The paintwork is not the most durable, but there is no doubt about the resistance of the body metal to corrosion. Even on the first cars, chips look like they just formed. But in our conditions, chrome parts are quickly surrendered. After the first winter, the coating becomes cloudy and even swells. The issue can only be resolved by replacement. Not without congenital sores, a weak lock, 2,200 rubles, of the hood. If the lid began to close poorly, a replacement is needed, which was usually done free of charge on warranty machines. Windshield and rear washer nozzles are also at risk, they were also updated under warranty. However, these details are worth a penny. But if you want to install additional sound insulation, you will have to spend money. Dealers charge 50,000 rubles for a complete shunk. However, at the same time, there are not so few who want to calm down their crossover. Although I would not call the standard Tucson too noisy, but the owners complain about periodically burning fog lights. As a rule, they need to be changed at least once a year. Sometimes there are malfunctions in the operation of the central lock and multimedia. What cannot be said about the engines? The base 2 liter, 4, sins with scuffing of the cylinder piston group due to insufficient oil level or with the failure of the catalyst. Therefore, if you make it a rule to control the amount of oil in the engine, then problems will not happen. Another thing is a faulty neutralizer. As soon as you feel something is wrong, and this can happen already at 50,000 to 80,000 kilometers, immediately make a replacement, about 65,000 rubles. The working part of the catalyst consists of ceramic honeycombs, collapsing, small particles of ceramics are sucked into the engine, as if scratching the cylinder walls with emery. As a result, an expensive motor repair or even a block replacement. Moreover, this concerns the 1.6-liter turbo engine to a lesser extent, partly because he has not yet managed to acquire complete statistics of faults. Even the turbocharger has not compromised itself in any way. But some Tucson have already run under a couple of hundred thousand kilometers. Both gasoline force have a chain in the timing drive. His service life is about 200,000 kilometers, and cases of premature stretching have not yet been recorded. But it is highly likely that in the fourth or fifth year of life, gasoline engines will begin to sweat with oil due to cracked seals and seals. The engines do not have the usual gaskets, all attachments are planted on a sealant, and he tends to dry out. The turbo diesel has the same problem. In general, the motor is reliable. The timing drive also has a chain with a resource of 250,000 kilometers, fill in high quality fuel, change oil and filters according to the regulations, and the engine will last a very long time. And do not forget to let the engine idle for two to three minutes after a long operation to cool the turbine bearings or set a turbo timer. But the seven-speed dual-clutch DCT robot cannot be called trouble-free. Even on relatively fresh copies, the box can stutter and twitch in traffic jams. Although this is not a reason for urgent repairs, usually, by 150,000 kilometers, a careful driver will have to change the clutch kit, 52,000 rubles, or the actuator block from 35,000 rubles. The main procedure that extends the life of the robot is a regular oil change every 40,000 to 60,000 kilometers. And in a mechanical box, after hundreds of thousands of kilometers, it is sometimes difficult to turn on third gear due to premature wear of the synchronizers. Repair, from 18,000 rubles. It is enough to change the oil in the manual gearbox after 90,000 kilometers and the six-band automatic requires this one and a half to two times more often. In fact, the AKP is reputed to be indestructible and has a decent resource. There are cases when the box nursed more than 350,000 kilometers. A careful attitude will also preserve the health of the electronic clutch that connects the rear wheels when the front wheels slip. If she creaked and began to twitch, do not rush to order a new one for 80,000 rubles. 
it is often enough to disassemble and lubricate the coupling, replacing the seals for only 10,000 rubles. Suspension costs also depend on how you ride, although some elements initially do not have a long service life. For example, shock absorbers, 7,800 rubles each, begin to leak at 50,000 to 70,000 kilometers. Moreover, instead of a standard spare part, it is better to put a non-original part of a well-known brand. Some complain about hub bearings howling at 50,000 km. Around the same time, the bearings, 1,900 rubles each, of the front struts may creak when the steering wheel is turned. But the creak of the brake mechanisms occurs when the rear caliper is wedged, a Tucson signature saw. Usually, craftsmen manage to develop a mechanism using auto chemistry. But if the disease is running, you will have to buy a new caliper assembly. After that, replacing the stabilizer struts, 1,000 rubles each, every 50,000 kilometers seems to be a completely natural event. As you can see, a used Tucson can be recommended for purchase, especially at such a young age. To be completely safe from unpleasant surprises, avoid modifications with the DCT box. And versions with 2-liter engines, especially diesel ones, are generally considered trouble-free.